Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Bafco Research Consult. I am Bafo and I'm going to be your facilitator for today. Today we are going to talk about how to import and export data from R using R Studio. One of the first steps in any data analysis project is to import data into R from various sources. This is essential because real world data is often stored in different formats. It can be CSV, Excel, SPSS, Stata file, text file, JSON file, or even databases. And sometimes the people are not even st um, storing their data in using APIs. Okay. So because of such differences, there is the need to always import data into R. And also, after doing your analysis in R, you may also need to export your process data for use in reports, sharing it, it with your colleagues or even further analysis in some other softwares. I will provide a range of functions to handle the import and export of data, ensuring a smooth workflow for data analysts and researchers. There are various methods for importing data in R using functions available in the base R package or sometimes packages, other packages, depending on the file type you are working with. So we are going to start with CSV and talk about Excel, SPSS, Stata file, tests, JSON, databases. There are a couple of them, that, but this is what we are handling. If you have, you have any different um, data, any different file type that we didn't talk about and you want us to discuss it, you can drop it in the comment section. When I look at it, I may give you the code to import that particular file type into your R. So CSV. CSVs are the most commonly used data formats due to the simplicity and the compatibility with various software applications. In R, you can easily import a CSV file using the base R function, right? That is read underscore CSV. The base R function read underscore CSV. Um, the base R function, which is the read.csv, read.csv, not underscore. The underscore is a tidy verse. It's a read R um, function. So read.csv, read.csv. So, like we've mentioned in our previous videos, always the function, then brackets, the name of the data that you are importing, the file type in a quotation mark. We will practice this when we get into the R. So, so read.csv, brackets open and close, quotation mark, then the name of the file, as simple as that. There are other things you can add, but that is the basic way, the basic way to do it. And if you want to write a CSV file or after working on your data and everything, you want to write the file as a CSV file, then that one you use write.csv. Then the um, data frame you want to export, the data frame you want to export, then the name that you want to give the file, whether you want to keep raw names or not. So basically, that is that. Now let's move on to Excel. So if a file is in Excel format, with that, you will need a package. Okay. With the CSV format, we don't need a package. You just need a um, read the CSV to work for you. Unless you're going to use the read underscore CSV with that, you need a read R package. But if you are using the read the, um, read the CSV, that one, you don't need any package. Right. But when it comes to Excel, you need a package. You either you are either going to use the read excel to read the file and you are going to use the write excel or write excel x to read the file all right to write the file to write the file so if you if you've not installed the package we made mention we discussed on how to install packages in our previous video but this is the simplest way to install the package for using the code from cran right install the packages bracket open and close quotation mark then the name of the package you just install it 
so the code is read the function that we use is read underscore excel read underscore excel excel because in excel there are different different sheets you have to specify the sheets in which you should import okay so read underscore excel bracket open and close the file name which is like let's say this time data dot xl x x comma then sheet one sheet is equal to one like sheet one all right and if you want to export this is how we export it write underscore x l x x then you write the data frame name or the name of the object in the r that you want to export then the name of that you give to the exporter file so without much ado let's practice them i have this data that i will show you quickly which is in csv file it's inflation of Ghana. the importation is very simple use a drop down that is if you know the location of the folder on uh, the file on your machine so let's see with mine i know that i know that the data is here right so this is the folder that i'm working in imports and exports so i've opened that data so when i open that data i know that my data is here this is the data i'm working i'm going to talk about the inflation csv so i can either use the line 12 to import the data or i can just import the data by clicking by clicking on the csv file and i click on it import data also so i just click on import data it will load then i'll just give it the name i want right then see this one uses read underscore what csv use the read underscore csv function then it imports it right so this is the data set so in the data i have data on date year on year inflation average lending rate precedent then president and uh, parties okay now, now i'm going to use the read dot csv function then i will save the object or the data frame as what my data so when i put the then around the line i'm getting the same thing right there are 309 observations five variables the same thing okay so I'll first want to export all this particular data into the different types we learned. So I will export this this into the different types as in Excel, SPSS data, text file, JSON, then database. Okay. So I will do that. So first let's export the data to Excel. First let's export the data to Excel. I said to export a data to Excel, what you have to do is that to write the Excel file. I said we need what? Write.xlx. And these are the packages. So we can also use the open XLX in place of the write XLX. Yeah. In place of this package, in place of write Excel, you can also use the open excel package they all work all right so in r because it's an open source you can get different different packages that are doing the same thing so you can just use whatever one that is available all right though there are some differences though so if you've not installed the package when you use this c you remember c combines all these as what vectors so that the install packages will install all of them together all right so the c combines all these as vectors and you will install them at the same time instead of writing the code one after the other okay so when i run the line 16 it is going to run it is going to export the my data file as a csv file to my working directory to my working directory and i said earlier 
if you don't know your working directory you can always check your working directory by clicking on the settings in the date uh, output area and go to go to working directory or yeah you can just click on that and it will take you to the working directory so this is my working directory okay or if you don't know you can just use get wd all right so when you, you run that line get wd it will show you where your working directory is okay so this shows that this is my working directory all right so let's run the line 18 so when i run the line 18 i'm getting what see now the file has been saved in the file has been saved in my what working directory